Good evening, my dear JE warriors, and welcome to the Vedantu J English channel. This is your Capto, your physics master teacher on this channel. And they say when there is a bad news, there always comes a good news. So you should never be sad for a long time. And one such good news after all the you know things which NTA is shocking us and changing the pattern and increasing the difficulty and all of that. The good news is that VIT. Engineering exam dates, registrations, everything has been announced and it is open. Now, those of you who do not know what this exam is and what is so special about VIT College, I'll tell you about that also, and I'll tell you where you should head to directly. Go to vit triple e.vit.ac.in. Watch it after this video ends later on. But listen to me, watch this video carefully because there are many things that I'm going to talk about. First of all, VIT is a private college. Where are the campuses? Everything I'll tell you. So the examination date, everything has been announced and the registrations have started, which means you need to start signing up by putting your name, date of birth, gender, resident, mobile number, email address, verify it and then start for the registration process. Now VIT is basically the short form for Velour Institute of Technology. Many of my students already study there. They have also passed out and the reviews are very good. Yes, it's slightly expensive college, but I think it is also justified by the facilities and the exposure and the crowd that you get over there. Sanjay has already applied. Yes. Will VIT Triple E be easier than GE also? I'll answer that question. Hold on. Now, you, uh, the uh, Velour campus actually is in Tamil Nadu, okay, very close to Bangalore and Chennai. Those of you do not know, it's in South India, in Tamil Nadu, okay. And the application form big, uh, setup begins with some multi-step process. And I'll show you the campuses, VIT Vellore. Well you can see right from biotech, chemical, computer science, artificial intelligence and machine learning, many students take this branch. It is very interesting. Artificial intelligence and data engineering, bioinformatics is also very uh, interesting. Cyber security, very popular and it is going to grow like crazy. Information security, internet of things, that means Alexa, controlling everything through voice and door locks, automated, automatic fan, AC, that is internet of things. And business systematics, collaboration with TCS, data science, very popular. Blockchain, where your cryptocurrencies are based on blockchain. Electrical, electronics, electrical, computer science, electronics, communication, electronics, instrumentation, so many branches. And electric vehicles technology branch is also there, which is again very, very popular. So this is there in Vellore well campus. This is the main campus. This is what you should be aiming for. Then the second campus you have is VIT Chennai. Again, very good campus, but obviously Vellore is the best. But Chennai comes second then. Okay, again, many branches are there, very similar to the one in Vellore. Andhra also has it. Again, many branches are there related to electronics, computer science, artificial intelligence and all of that. Bhopal is also there. And Mauritius, yes, that's the newly opened uh, Vellore branch in Mauritius. It's near Africa. It's uh, close to the Madagascar island you can say now which is better vit or mit both are good but i would obviously prefer vit over mit uh, because vit uh, uh, sorry mit became recently popular vit velour has been fairly popular for a very long time and uh, for good or bad but it has been a reputed institute and giving good placements mit is also good number of admissions in mit is slightly limited as compared to velour Slightly higher standard, I would say, Vellore. Okay. So, eligibility wise, the best part NRIs, OCIs, Indian citizens, everybody can apply. NRI category is there. Foreign applicants are also there. So, the crowd is very good because you'll get mixture of students. You will have students from all over the country, out, uh, outside the country, NRIs also, and foreigners also will study over here. That's the best part. Age limit. Only the people who have been born on or after 2003, basically roughly you will be 21 years of age uh, uh, or below. Uh, applicants should produce this certificate for uh, birth certificate, whatever. Best part is about the qualifying examination. See, the problem is, sir, my board's marks are not good, sir. 75% not cross, sir. I'm a dropper, sir, this, that. So if you're a dropper, you're scared. You're a fresher, you're scared or you are just giving it as a mock test or as a backup option, this is the best thing. 
I'll tell you, uh, you can just go down below over here and it shows how much requirement is there. Yes, the best part is 60% in PCM or PCB or PCMB and applicants for uh, undergraduate engineering admissions should also have passed with a minimum of this much uh, for the following categories like SCST or students from Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh, Northeastern states, etc. The admission criteria is little bit lower as compared to the other categories. So 60% I think everybody will get. So I think you should definitely consider this. So that's the best part. Okay. So uh, uh, subject wise also there are different uh, criteria. Like for example, if you are taking uh, biotech, I think you have to take PCB or PCMB. If you are taking health sciences, bioengineering, all right. So those subjects will need you to take biology as a compulsory subject apart from mathematics. That is the thing. So you can see the uh, look of the campuses. Vellore photographs are there. VIT Chennai, Andhra campus is there. Ma uh, Mauritius, Bhopal. Just have a look at any of the campuses. Hopefully it opens up. I'm not sure. Maybe on the touch screen it won't work. Now let's talk about the important dates. 31st March is the last date for online application. You will be like, sir, too much time is there. What to do? I'm telling you, you will not remember. Suddenly you will be like, see, there are more than 15 exams which are there apart from J. 10 to 15 exams are there. You will not even remember, you know, when the dates are, when the last date is, unless you are keeping a note, keeping a track, already you have to study so much, where you will sit and do that. Finish of the application, I would suggest that. The examination is 21st to 27th, that is a good part. Why? Your J second attempt will be over by 15th of April. So you would have already prepared for the first attempt, board exam, second attempt and maybe even preparing for other exams or even J advance. So you don't have to prepare anything extra out of the blue apart from test series. This is the most common mistake which students do while writing the VIT exam. They feel overconfident. I was also one of them. Ah, okay, what is there? VIT exam. Okay, I will crack it. I know J. I am preparing for J advance. Oh, I have qualified J means. So many students think like that. But in the exam, suddenly you are like, oh my God. Sir, the paper got over only. Sir, no time. So the pattern is different. Even though the difficulty is more or less like mains or slightly easier only. Actually, it is easier than mains. But the problem is number of questions. Too many questions. Hardly you get one minute per question. I'll discuss the pattern in a bit. And there are some sections where you will get unnecessarily drained out. So that is the problem. That's why you have to have to join a special test series. Without that, you can't get a good rank. See, you might be thinking, no, sir, I will get computer science. Trust me, you don't get computer science easily. Many students think the same and everybody, see how many seats will be there, a few hundred seats will be there. The top 100,000 people, sometimes they will even leave NIT for VIT because they are getting computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, cyber security, electric vehicle technology popular branches, top branches, doesn't matter whether you are from normal college or VIT college, if you are in the top branches, obviously it will be beneficial for you and VIT to extra benefit, better placements. In fact, the placements were very good. Average package was 9 to 10 lakhs per annum, 9 to 10 lakhs per annum and the highest package in VIT went to around 88 lakhs per annum. That's huge package considering it's a private college, not even IIT or NIT. And this was this year's placement. You can Google it also. The result will be on 30th April. Counseling will start in May. That's okay. Uh, so frequently asked questions are there over here. Let's have a look at this application admission eligibility done selection criteria see this selection is based on the rank through cbt selection candidates can be participated in the online counseling based on the ranking candidates with up to one lakh are eligible for counseling for all the campuses rank holders above one lakh are eligible to ap and bhopal campuses only vit will verify eligibility blah 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 okay now let's talk about the exam pattern this is very important see this this is maths maths uh, set this is the basically biology set mathematics 40 questions physics 35 maths has higher weightage 40 questions chemistry 35 english 5 aptitude 10 that's what i was telling see you are not used to these things suddenly you will be scared oh my god aptitude i have to think english i have to think Maths higher weightage, 
so some students will be like sir maths i'm not good at physics i'm good at gone this will take away lot of your marks so that's why you have to give at least 5 to 10 mock test papers 5 to 10 now if you are wondering sir where can i give the mock test sir is there a option where you can give me the mock test sir yes i will give you the mock test no issues i have created the mock test with special special pattern as per the latest syllabus over here all in one engineering test or tamil nadu college engineering test combo right now till tonight the offer is valid diwali offer after 12 o'clock the offer will go away the prices will increase right now it is for 2000 rupees after that it might become even 4000 or 5000 rupees this includes all the examinations like K vit triple e srm je iser bitsat comed ke em sat ep sat mhd cet west bengal je everything together in one exam uh, sorry one package all test series but some of you will be like no sir i only want tamil nadu entrance examinations okay tn engineering test combo that is also there okay vit triple e amrita college srm bit set that is also there this includes along with that je mains and advance yes both of them have je mains and advance apart from that other college entrance test is there okay fine sir this is too good sir so biology students again remember 40 questions for biology if you are taking the biology section syllabus wise you can see all the syllabus like say for example english and aptitude aptitude has data interpretation meaning charts graphs are given you have to interpret the data or some table data sufficiency if this is given this is given then what all can you get from that syllogism if this all students are teachers or some teachers are uh, chairs then how many students are or are some students chairs those kind of things number series predict the next number magic squares everything clocks calendars directions all those things in english basically some short passage some lines of poem will be there grammar will be there pronunciation based things uh, maybe some spellings you have to choose uh, and then you will have some uh, you know uh, uh, level of questions will be from hsc well, that means higher secondary level 12th standard so that is your uh, what do you say english and aptitude similarly you can check for other things but it is more or less like je means if i just check physics uh, syllabus see momentum is there kinetic energy work power conservative non conservative forces elastic behavior heat transfer uh, all these are basically your uh, je means portion electrostatics flux gauss law current electricity effects of current wheatstone kirchhoff magnetic effects ampere's law torque okay emi we just studied today ac optics wave optics uh, displacement current em waves atomic structure nucleus nuclear force semiconductor logic gates so you can see the paper syllabus is in fact lesser than je mains it is not more than je mains so that means you don't have to worry about that you can see admission guidelines also are mentioned right over here important dates are also mentioned over here so guys i feel start registering now only don't wait for the last date this is a very good backup option it is one of the top private colleges after bits bits obviously is number 1 but bits is even more competitive because seats are less vit is the another good option yeah sir uh, but i'm not interested in cc lohit you can choose any other branch also yes i'm so glad deva you are already in vit age limit like i said i think it was mentioned here some uh, 20 uh, sorry 2003 onwards if you are born after on or after 2003 first july so your birth date should be after this that is the age limit so age limit is there yeah all right so i want to know from you do you want a special strategy session and uh, i hope you will be using this particular test series which is there all in one engineering entrance exam all the test series are there apart from je mains and advance if you want only tamil nadu colleges this option is there if you want the lectures je crash is there so je crash will include only the je material but the syllabus is the same as you see in all the exams so my recommendation if you are not prepared use the je crash course again the offer is only till tonight yes the batch is starting just now and 2999 rupees for your je preparation guys yes make use of that so that was a major announcement anything else that you want to ask regarding vit vit triple e strategy let me know in the comment section okay thank you so much god bless you all and 
make the best use of all the backup options you have stay subscribed and like this video share it with your friends thank you for liking bye bye